welcome back to my channel. I hope you celebrate St. Patrick, Patrick's Day tomorrow. Uh, what I want to talk with you about is the hypocrisy of the Lord's name. Now, the Lord's name is Jesus. So we have people in other um, informative circles that don't use the name Jesus, but like rather Yeshua or Elohim Yahweh, Jehovah Jireh, El Nisi, El Rafi. They use these names in vain. Like they're not like focusing on what they can use God's name for. It says not to use God's name in vain. I have, I've said God's name in vain, but um, not cursing His name, just misusing the name. Now, if we look at the English language, it comes the English the the name Jesus comes from the English language and a transliter transliteration in the Greek form of Jesus, I think. So Jesus is the anointed name. All his other names are also anointed. We can't, it says the Lord said that the, my name will be in the, upon the Gentiles. So why is the name Jesus in, with the Gentiles? I'll tell you why. It's because it's his, it's his holy name. Um, don't, I just have to say to other believers, don't discredit one name of God, Jesus, or any of the other names. I'm also talking to Gentiles who distinguish God's name through Hebrew. So uh, what we want to do is put forth our best foot, um, plan, plan on where you're going, and use the name Jesus. Don't be afraid to use it. The name Jesus is, is holy and anointed. It's a healing name. The demons run from it, so it must be true. <sighs> That's all I have to say today. Cast out your demons and follow Jesus. Bye.